Hey guys, so I just wanted to uh, do a little video. Um, I picked up this camera the other day, um, and it's called an Ace Cam, and it's their 4K. Uh, I believe it's an A900, A9000, something like that. Um, but this is probably a camera that is actually put under a lot of different names, because um, I believe it's just one of these Chinese knockoffs, you know, about the $100 mark for a 4K camera. Um, but when I imported the footage into either iMovie or Final Cut Pro on a Mac, the footage came out really red. And I'm going to just show you this here. So uh, I got my Mac computer here, and I have uh, the SD card plugged in. So inside here, if I go to Import Movie and Final Cut, um, this is, you'll see it up here, this little guy here, U-Disk. Uh, and this is the footage on it. So if I click, and I'll just go down to one of the bottom ones here. Uh, you see that footage? It previews it here kind of normal and then it, it just goes red and there's nothing here I can do to kind of change that. So that was concerning. So I'm going to actually just import this, so add to existing um, as I have one of these here. So I think, yep, that's good. And we'll just hit import. And that's going to import that footage. Now, I have a project at the bottom and this and this is where you know I started to have a bit of concern. So first off, the resolution of this, even though it says 4K, um, is a weird resolution. So I'm going to actually, if you click back on this clip and you slide over, I think it will say it here. If not, I'll just bring it up. Um, let's see if we can go in here. So frame size, right, 3200 by 1800. Now that's not any kind of standard 4K resolution. And that's what I was thinking this Final Cut was having an issue understanding what this was. Um, so I went looking around to try to figure out um, why it may be going red and nobody could tell me that. So when you're in here, and if I were to drop this clip into a new project, and I'll just make a new project, and you'll actually see that if I come here and I set this to automatic, which it says set based on the first clip's properties, which should be 4K, um, I'm going to put 4K test. Okay, if I take this clip now and and I'll just insert it. Oops. Try that again. Just insert it into here. It will actually come up and say, "I don't understand what this is. Uh, the video properties of this clip are not recognized." So it drops it right into 2K. And if you look at the 4K inside here, you know, the lowest resolution is 3840, so the camera shooting 3200. So right off the bat, I was a little confused um, as to maybe that's what was causing it. So you got to do this beforehand. So I'm going to get that clip out of here. And when you're, when you're here, and you'll see it previews normally, but it, it's not normal inside the screen here. Um, but once you clip, clip, click on the clip, and you're over on this side. Now this is something that you can only do in Final Cut 10.3, I believe, or higher. So if you're in 10.2.3, uh, it doesn't have this this feature, or at least I couldn't find it. Is when you're in the top, there's the info panel, and or the inspector, sorry, and you'll click on that. And at the bottom here, and I wasn't even aware this was here, you'll see this little drop-down menu. And normally it's on this, this basic, which shows you just information about it. Codex, AVC1, AAC, K. Um, but under here, there's a settings. And under the settings, there's this... Uh, where is it here? Yeah, color space override. And it's off. So when I went online and looked around, a lot of 4K cameras use this color space called Rec 2020. Um, I don't think Final Cut was recognizing that. Well, I didn't know, so I actually went in here and I spin, went to all of them, right? I think it actually defaults to this 709, but this is the guy down here, right? As soon as I click on that, the footage is good. We're back to normal. Um, and because it's recognizing, and it has to be done up here, so it has to be done up in this area before it enters the timeline, because if it enters the timeline, it sees it as the other color space. So once I take this clip now, 
and I pull it onto the clip. Again, it still doesn't understand what resolution it is. I'm going to keep it, actually I'm going to pump it up. So it's going to end up up res resing a little bit, which is fine. I'm going to drop it on the clip. But at this point in time, you know, I can play this back and the clip does exactly what it's supposed to do. It's playing, the color is right, and we're good. Uh, a little little extra step, um, but this could make the footage out of here uh, useful. Now, in iMovie, I don't know if this is doable because I don't think it has the ability to force the color space into something different. Um, but at least in Final Cut 10.3 and higher, you should have that ability. Because uh, without that, I was really concerned that this footage was useless. Uh, we did try it on a PC computer, a Windows computer, and it was fine with Adobe Premiere. Um, so it was recognizing it. But as far as now with Final Cut, um, that could be an issue. And uh, this will make it okay. So this makes the footage okay. So we're good with that. Anyway, I hope this video was useful because um, if you have this camera, so this is the Ace Cam 4K, or any of the um, probably other brands that use the same codec, uh, you could be in for a little bit of a problem. All right, guys. Hope that was good. And we'll talk to you later.